So I personally think every lady should own that dress that they can completely rely on for any occasion, like for a wedding, to church, for a party, to work, or even a burial ceremony. The beauty of this dress most times is because they are lightweight, easy to wear, and very comfortable. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to sew that dress. This is the fabric I'll be using for today's tutorial. It is a lightweight crepe fabric. A chiffon will work perfectly well for it as well. And I have just two yards of it. So the first measurement you'll be needing for this dress is your waist measurements. And you're going to multiply it by two or three, depending on how full you want it to be. Now I want to cut the middle part of the dress. So I folded my fabric into four pieces and I'm going to mark out my waist measurements. That is 24 times 2, that is 48. And since I folded this fabric into four, meaning each piece is going to be about 12 inch. So when you open it up, it will be 48 inches. So while the length of it is dependent on how long you want it to be, the length of the middle part of the dress shoe would be 18 inches plus one inch sewing allowance, that is 19 inches. And then I'll cut it out. By the time I open this up, it's going to be the width of it should be about nothing less than 48 inches, while the length of it would be 19 inches. And then when I'm done with this, I'm going to cut the ending part of the dress that is the, the last gathers. So the length of this one would be 7 inches, while the width of it would be 48 inches times 2, which is about 96 inches. So the, the, the width of it will be 96, while the length would be 7 inches. So I'm cutting two pieces of it. So the first piece is 48 inches, while the second piece is also 48 inches with the same length. So at the end of it, I'm going to open it up as I just did. And then after opening it up, I'm going to join the ending part of one to the ending part of the second one. Using half inch, I'm going to sew it. So when you are done sewing, you're going to have one round piece. And then after that, we are going to draft out the upper part of the dress. So now I've already marked out my chest line, my bust line, my under bust line, and my waist line. And then this is just me trying to draft out the body pattern. So I'm going to be marking out half of my shoulder measurements on the top line, and then half of my shoulder measurements on the chest line. After marking it out, I'm going to connect it, and then on the new line, I'm going to go down by one inch, and then on the top line, I'm going to mark three inch, and I'll connect it. And then I'm going to divide this line by 2 and then go in by 0 0.5 inch. And while on the chest line, I'm going to mark quarter of my bust measurement plus 1.5 inch sewing allowance. And I'm connecting it all the way with a French curve. And then on the bust line, I'm going to mark my nipple to nipple measurement on the bust line and on the waistline, and I'll connect it. While on the waistline, I'm going to mark 0 0.5 inch on both sides. On the under bust, I'm also mark 0 0.5 inch on both sides. While on the bust line, I'm going to go down by one inch. So I'm going to connect these lines as I'm doing. And then on the waistline, I'm going to mark quarter of my waist measurement plus 1.5 inch allowance and I'll connect it to the chest line and then after this we're going to divide the shoulder by two we're connecting it to the bust point and then why on the chest line we're going to go up by one inch that is where I want the off shoulder to start from so on this new line i'm going to mark 0 0.5 inch as i just did and i'm connecting it to the bust point 
and then now i'm going to cut it out but first i'm going to cut out the band which is below the under bust and then i don't want any dots for this so i'm just going to close the dots as i did and this will be the band for the dress and then after cutting out the band we're going to cut out the remaining parts of it After cutting it, I'm going to trace this part out on another piece of paper. I'm doing this because I'm going to be using it for the lining and I'm also going to be doing a slash and, and spread for the gathered part of the dress. Then after tracing it out, you'll be having two pieces of it. So for this piece now, this will be the lining for the dress. I'm going to cut out the dots of it. And then for the other parts that I traced out, I'm going to remove the dots. Remember, we are not using dots for the waistband. So I'm going to be removing one inch from the measurement. And then I'll cut it out. Then after cutting it, I'm going to use this pattern to cut for the back. And for the, the difference is that for the back, I added so zipper allowance to it. I also had added half inch sewing allowance on the top and on the down part. And then after cutting out the back pattern, I will still use the same band to cut out the, the band for the front pattern. But for the front pattern, I'm going to be cutting it on fold. So when you open it up, it should be like this. And then I also cut lining for the band, for the front band. Then after using this to cut the back pattern, we're also going to use it to cut the front pattern. And how we're going to do it is we're going to divide it by one inch on all sides as I'm doing now. Let's mark out one inch on all sides. And then after marking, you're going to connect it, drawing a straight line. And then when you connect you label it and you cut it out then after cutting it out you're going to use another fabric the width of this fabric is about 18 inches on fold so now what we're going to do is we're going to place the pieces that we just cut out separating one piece from the other by one inch and then after doing that we're going to trace out we're going to trace it out as i'm doing now adding half an inch sewing allowance to the top and to the down part And when you're done with that, you're going to remove it. When you open it up, it should be like this. And then after I open it up, you're going to run the gather stitch on the top part and on the down part of this fabric. And then for the lining, we'll, we'll use, we'll also cut out the lining piece using the second pattern. And then when you open it up it should be like this so what you're going to do is you're going to join the center front to the side front sewing using half an inch sewing allowance you're going to join it together while for the back pattern you're going to open it up as i'm doing now You're going to join the line into the fabric and you're going to sew half an inch on the neckline. Then when I've after running the gather stitch on the front pattern, you're going to we are going to gather it as I'm doing now. Um. 
other you gather it all the way to the other end of it and then when you're done gathering it the length of it should be equal to the length of the lining we are going to be using the lining as a guide to know how long or how wide this this um, fabric is going to be so if it is shorter than the lining we are going to open it up if it is longer than the lining we are going to gather it further so when you do the correcting it should be well aligned to the lining then you're going to sew half an inch sewing allowance on the top part and then for the down part you're also going to run the gather stitch on it and you're, you're going to gather it all the way to the other end and then when you gather it you're going to press it down and then you align it to the lining and sew half an inch just to join the fabric to the lining and then when you're done with this you're going to add the band to it and then you're also going to add the lining to then when you when you sew the lining on it it should be like this i've also done the same thing for the back pattern as well then now you're going to measure the distance from one armhole one armhole to the next so when i measure it i i got 13 inches since we want this to lay flat on our body without any excess we're going to be measuring the distance from one brass strap to the next mine is nine inches so i'm going to minus nine inches from 13. so what i have the difference i have i'm going to be minusing it from this 13 inches so i'm right now i'm minusing about more than one inch from it and then you're going to cut it the way i'm cutting it now i'm doing it on the other side of the armhole as well so i'll go down by 0 0.5 inch and then i'll draw out a new armhole all the way to, to about one inch on the neckline so when when you're done drawing out the new armhole you're going to sew the side seams of the back pattern to the front pattern as i just did so when you sew and you turn it to the right side it's going to look like this so now we're going to focus on the down part of the dress so this is if this is the the middle part of the dress that i cut out earlier so i'm going to run the gather stitch at the top of the fabric so when you're done gathering when you run the gather stitch this is what you should have so after this you're going to measure it making sure that it aligns to the waistline of the bodies So it's, if it's not equal, you make the necessary adjustment. Then after that, you're, you're going to join the, the bodies to it. And then take note that the gathers will be starting after the zipper allowance. You're not going to be gathering all the way to the zipper allowance. By the time you are joined sewing the bodies to the down part, this is what you would have. I've also gone ahead to add the zipper allowance, an invisible zipper allowance to the dress. And then the next thing to do now is to join the second part of the gathers to it. So on the so how we're going to do it, we're going to run the gather stitch on one part and then we're going to hem the other part. So after running the gather stitch, this is what I have and I'm going to join it to the down part of the dress using half an inch sewing allowance. Also, take note that because I wanted this dress to be really light, I didn't add any lining to the down part of the dress. And then the last thing to do now is to cut out the sleeve. And the length of this is about 14 inches, while the width of it on fold is about 13 inches, thereabouts. 
so what i'm going to do now is to trace out the armhole of the pattern on it when you open it out it should look like this then now i'm going to hem the top part of it using half an inch sewing allowance i'm going to hem it in such a way that there will be enough space for me to pass an elastic band through it so i'm also going to do the same thing for the down side of the sleeve then after doing that i'm going to run the elastic on the sleeve on the top part of the sleeve and i'm also doing it on the down part as well when you run it you're going to sew it on the fabric i've also joined the side seam of the sleeve together and now i'm going to attach it to the dress and that will be all for today's video after attaching the second sleeve this is the final result if you did enjoy this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in my next one bye